Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and we're taking a second look at the iCast that I reviewed a couple of days ago on my channel because I got a couple of comments that were worthy of a follow-up video. Uh, the first one came from Carlos Quinsa Quinsabe, I hope I pronounced your name right. Uh, he wanted to know about the Windows app and how it worked on the iShare. So I wanted to, to show you why I'm not going to show you the Windows app because it's asking uh, for a little too much from me. So uh, here it is. Let me just uh, close it out here and reload it. Uh, the first problem I saw is that it wants a lot more access to the computer than I'm comfortable giving it. I am going to give it to uh, it on this computer because I only use this for switching my video hardware. But uh, what will happen is, is it kind of takes over your uh, wireless networking, or at least it, it you know, allows you to kind of change your wireless network uh, from the app itself. And that gives me a little bit of uneasiness because it's get, gaining access to portions of my operating system that I'm not comfortable with it getting. I was hoping that I could just connect to the, uh, the iShare over my existing wireless network. It wouldn't let me do that with the Windows app. Uh, so just like the iOS app, you have to connect to the iCast directly in order to use its app with it. Uh, for some reason, Android allows you to connect over your regular network. So that's how I'm going to use it from here on out. So we are not going to play with uh, the Windows app any more than that. I just really don't recommend installing it. It's asking for way too many permissions on your computer than it should, uh, should have to do what it does. So we're going to skip that. Uh, but uh, Chewbacca681, uh, he wanted to know, though, if mirror casting on uh, the Windows side of things works as well as it does on Android. So we're going to check that out. And after we do that, we're going to look at AirPlay mirroring on the Mac. So let's take a look first at MirrorCast and Windows 8.1. Well, the first thing we have to do is go over to our Android device here and put it into that mirror casting mode. I really wish it could just sit in mirror casting mode without having to go through this on uh, the Android app first. So we're going to turn this on. And uh, we're going to ignore this part here. And then I think I have to just uh, flip it back. And then it should, uh, should work, hopefully. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go back over uh, to my Windows device here. And uh, what you do is go over to Devices. And we're going to go to Project. And we're going to add a wireless display. And now it's going to search the network for one. And uh, it found our iShare. So I'm going to click on that. Now I think I might have to type in a code, which I think can sort of read on my other screen here. So let's see what happens. It's connecting to the iShare. And we'll just need to get let it sit here for a minute. We do have to type the code into the Windows computer once it's able to connect to it. So let's see what happens here. Well, I had to do a reboot. And now we're going to try to search for the iShare again. I can probably safely say that given the amount of effort that I am expending at trying to get this to work, that um, this is not something you're going to want to rely upon if you're going into a presentation. You know, if you've got you know, 20 minutes to do your pitch and you spend an hour trying to get the projector set up with this, this is probably not the most efficient way to get it done. But let's, uh, let's keep looking here and see how we're doing. So, yeah, it doesn't seem to want to find it now at all. So, Chewbacca, the answer to your question is probably it's not going to work because it's just kind of sitting in limbo. I think these two devices just have a failure to communicate uh, at the moment. So, uh, if you're looking to do mirror casting on uh, the iShare with a Windows device, I would probably not uh, take the chance of trying to get it to work. Uh, it does work with Android, as, as, as we saw in the prior video. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working with Windows at the moment, but I did test the device from Belkin, a uh, mirror casting device that did work with Windows and Android. So, uh, check out that review because I demonstrate that there. So, I am going to now uh, go back and reset everything, and we're going to try uh, the Mac with its AirPlay mirroring feature and see how that fares. Okay, we've got my MacBook Air on the desk here, and already it has found the iShare on the network, so I'm going to select it and see if the AirPlay mirroring works. Uh, most newer Macs support this feature. It usually works with an Apple TV, and it actually works very well with an Apple TV. And I think we are connected. Yes, yeah, so here we are. This is the, uh, the iShare that I'm connected to with my Mac, and uh, here we go. We've got my screen mirrored. Now, one thing you're noticing here is that there are some artifacting issues right by the text here. And I noticed this with the uh, Android mirror casting as well, that it gets a little bit flaky when you've got a lot of motion and a lot of fine detail. So this may not be a solution for doing presentations and whatnot, uh, just given this uh, little bit of an issue here. So let's play this video from my channel. And it's, you know, it's okay. It, looks, it doesn't look as good as it, as it should. And you can see there's a lot of artifacting around uh, some of the high motion events here as well. So, you know, as a, uh, you know, a solution that you would depend on to make a business presentation or something like that, obviously you wouldn't bring your Windows computer to do it because it doesn't work at all. Uh, but with your Mac, you're going to get, especially with fine details and, and a lot of motion, if you're using Keynote or something, 
uh, you're going to see some issues there. But uh, it does work, and I think that is something worth mentioning, but uh, it doesn't work as well as I would like it to. So, um, you know, my, my stock in this unit is going down a little bit because I really like the performance that I saw uh, out of the uh, iOS AirPlay and the mirror casting on the Android. There was a little bit of uh, that artifacting, but it wasn't as bad as it was just now out of the Mac here. So, you know, I think if you're looking for, uh, you know, kind of broadcasting your mobile device, it's probably uh, something you can invest in, but uh, for anything beyond that, probably not. So that is our iShare update, and I appreciate the questions. And if there's any others, I will uh, continually dive into it. But I think we've pretty much covered this as far as we're going to go. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.